happy morning students welcome to blue stars high secondary school english online class class 12th standard today we are going to learn an interesting story that is it is a born friendship between two person so what is the title the hour of truth it is a one act play by percival wilde what is mean by the hour of truth yes in in tamil we can say unmayin tarunam oranga nadagam okay what is mean by a one act play a one act play is a play that has only one act as distinct from plays that occur over several acts so it is a play that has only one act in several acts it is the main act it is considered as one of the main act and it has only one act one act plays may consists of one or more scenes so it may consists one or more scenes in recent years the 10 minute play known as flash drama has emerged as a popular sub genre of the one act play especially in writing competitions the origin of the one act play may be traced to the very beginning of drama in ancient greece cyclops a satire day by euripides is an early example so here the hour of truth is a one act play now we can see about the author who is the author here by percival wilde percival wilde he was born on new york city on march 1st 1887 was an american author and playwright who wrote novels and numerous short stories and one act plays so he was an american author Percival Wilde he was an american author and playwright he wrote novels and numerous short stories and one act plays so he has written many number of short stories and one act plays he also authored a textbook on the theater arts native to new york city so his native is new york city wilde graduated from columbia university in 1906 and worked for a time as a banker so his native is new york city and he was graduated from columbia university in 1906 so he was graduated he finished his studies from columbia university in 1906 and worked for a time as a banker so and he worked in bank as a part time worker he began writing plays in 1912 so he started writing plays in the year 1912 so percival wilde he was an american author and playwright and he also wrote novels and numerous short stories and one act plays and his native is new york city and he was graduated from columbia university in 1906 and he worked as a part time in bank and he started writing plays in 1912 wilde's plays were especially popular in the little theater movement so list of works he has written many works so some of the list of the works are here novels in novels he has written mystery weekend in 1938 inquest 1938 design for murder in 1941 collections of short stories rocks in clover 1929 p moran operative 1947 so these are the novels which was written by percival wilde then films story Moonlight Follies, 1921. The Gutter Snipe, 1922. The Rise of Dutton Lag, 1955. 
non fiction the craftsmanship craftsmanship of one act plays 1923 so these are the films which was written by percival wilde and his plays his important plays are dawn and one act plays of life today next the noble lord the traitor a house of cards playing with fire the finger of god so these are the plays which was written by percival wilde and percival wright he was an american author and he was graduated from columbia university in 1906 and he worked as a part time in bank so this is now the title of the lesson is the horror of truth who is the author here percival wilde and the characters here are balvin martha ev john mr marshall and setting where was the setting parlor of a little cottage where a family awaits the return of the head mr balvin balvin and his family members discuss the problem in the bank where balvin was working so this was the setting and what was the theme tendency to be corrupted by the power of money and the climax gresham accepts his crime baldwin's honesty is proved mr marshall offers him a job in the third national so these are the setting next we are going to see the characters so in lesson totally we are having how many characters seven characters so he robert baldwin he is the protagonist of this play what's the protagonist means hero his hero of this play he worked in the he worked in the bank as a secretary of bank and robert baldwin how was he he was very honest person and he was very diligent and he was very hard working person then he lives a simple life with his family he is working as the secretary of the third national bank and he is an honest diligent and hard working employee next he is mr john gresham he is a friend of baldwin and manager of bank so gresham and baldwin have been thick friends for over 35 years so baldwin has even named his son after gresham so john gresham is a good friend to mr baldwin martha she is the wife of baldwin then john he is the son of baldwin then eve she is the daughter of baldwin and mr marshall he is the president of the third national bank and mr donovan he is the assistant cashier of the third national bank so totally seven characters are in fact in this lesson and uh, in this one act play so now let us see the story okay so and what and also what are the values highlighted in the play we should not be carried away by the power of money honesty will be rewarded at the end so this is the main values what is the values we should not be carried away by the power of money honesty will be rewarded at the end then plot what is the plot mr robert baldwin works in the bank of mr gresham who is now in police custody for misappropriation of depositors money he offers mr baldwin a truthful person 100000 dollars as bribe to say the three words i don't remember at the time of the trial which is going to take place the next day the reaction to this offer from all other members of his family is the main plot of the play so now let us move to the story so he is mr balvin and he is mr john gresham as earlier i told you robert balvin he is the 
protagonist of this play. He leads a simple life with his family, and he is working as the secretary of the national bank. He is an honest, diligent, and hardworking employee. Gresham. He is Mr. Gresham, and these both are have been thick friends for over thirty-five years. Parvin has even named his son after Gresham. He is a good friend. When when his friend John Gresham was arrested for the misappropriation in bank account, Barwin was not ready to make any kind of compromise. He did not accept his friend's offer and tried to save him. He is a man of principles. It is because. of his deep rooted morality and honesty so here the here the first the play starts with eagerness that is the family they are waiting for the arrival of a mr bardwin because they already know about the issues of the bank that is mr gresham has misappropriated the money so they are eagerly waiting for mr barbin and when barbin returns to home so he said about the misappropriation of mr gresham and also he said that if he would utter the words i don't remember in the court during the trial he was that is mr gresham would offer a money 100000 dollars so as soon as they heard the the family heard this first they were against about mr gresham but later when they heard about the 100000 dollars they asked him to accept the three words and tell him into in the courts so here mr marshall he is the third president of he is the president of the third national bank and he he meets mr gresham and confirm that he accepted his crime that is accepted his bribe and he was arrested so again their family members barwin family members they are forcing him to utter the words what are the three words that is i don't remember so they are forcing him to utter the words that is i don't remember because money makes many things so they are very eager to get that money that is 100000 dollars so but mr barwin he was very much depressed and he was very much shocked because in early his family Uh, um, may was he, this his family made him to ask, tell him that Grash, gresham was an gresham uh, would, would will go, go into the jail but he is ready to do anything for hiding his corrupted nature so he is ready to give and take bribes so but later his family members but forced him to utter the words i don't remember but mr barwin he was very honest and diligent man and he never accepted this words so when mr gresham meets sorry when mr marshall meets gresham he accepted his crime and he went and he was arrested so at last mr marshall who is mr marshall he was the president of third national bank he visited him and informed him that gresham had confessed his crime it made free him from betraying his trusted friend and testifying painfully against him mr marshall also offered him a job in his bank to reward him for his honesty 
and integrity. So again, he was rewarded and Mr. Marshall also offered him a job in his bank. So the moral of the story is honesty gets rewarded and dishonesty gets punished. So students, this is the lesson, but in your book, they have given in like a dialogue. So this is the story. I have just summarizing the story. Next, we can see the summary of the story. So this is the summary. Percival Wiles play, The Heart of Truth is an intense psychological study. It studies the corrupting influence of money on people. So what does it mean? It is an, the, the play, The Heart of Truth, it is an intense psychological study. It studies the corrupting influence of money on people. The plot of the play explores greed from different angles. So here, the money makes many things, so the greediness. So the greed, the plot of the play explores greed from different angles. Almost all individuals in this play are tempted by money. So in this play, the family members, they are all tempted by money. This one act play particularly shows how easily people forget their moral values and principles. So this, the horror of truth, is this is a one act play and it particularly shows how easily people forget their moral values and principles. By in front of money, they easily forget their moral values and principles. But at the end of the play, the reader realizes that money only brings isolation, punishment, deception, frustration, and endless shame. So in the beginning of the play, the people easily forgot their moral values and principles by seeing the money. But at the end of the play, the reader realizes that money only brings isolation, punishment, deception, frustration, and endless shame. The play brings a positive note when the bad people get punished and the good people get rewarded. So, the, so here the play brings, here the play gives us a positive note. What is the positive note? The bad people get punished and the good people get rewarded. We can see the battle between self and society, in the characters of Mr. Robert Badwin, the secretary of a bank and the bank president, Mr. John Gresham. So these are the two main characters in this lesson. So we can see the battle between self and society. And the characters of Mr. Robert Badwin, the secretary of a bank and the bank president, Mr. John Gresham. So here, Mr. Badwin represents an everyday American man. So he is an American man. Students, please listen. Those who didn't understand the story, now I'm explaining. Just listen, students. He works hard for a living. His salary is not enough to support his family. So, Mr. Baldwin, he was an American man and he works hard for a living. He works very hard for a living and his salary is not enough to support his family. So, he said, his salary is not sufficient or not enough to support Mr. to run his family. When Mr. Gresham, he is boss of Baldwin. Baldwin's boss is accused of misappropriating the bank's money, everything changes. So when his friend, he was accused of misappropriating the bank's money, so everything was changed. It hurts the clients of the bank, so it totally hurt everyone in the bank. Mr. Barwin considers Mr. Gresham as a good boss. So he considered Mr. Gresham as a good boss. When Mr. Gresham is arrested, we lose confidence in his character. So we lose, we lose confidence in his character when Mr. Gresham is arrested. Because according to Mr. Barwin, Mr. Gresham, he was a very good boss and he was very good boss and he, and he respect the moral values and principles. 
but when he is arrested we lose confidence in his character mr gresham is totally changed with his greed for money so this is the main thing mr gresham he has totally changed his character is totally changed with his greed of greed for money greed what's my greed in tamil we can say perasai so due to greed greediness his character was totally changed he teaches the readers how badly money influences people so we now we can learn how money influences people how badly money influences people he teaches us after the arrest mr gresham begs mr badwin to say three words at the time of his trial so when he was arrested by the police he begs he asked mr badwin to say three words at the time of his trial in the court what are the three words i don't remember so he begs he asked mr badwin to say three words in the time at the time of his trial i don't remember as a reward he offers him 100000 dollars so if mr badwin would say the three words i don't remember he reward as a reward he offers him 100000 dollars it is really a large amount of money so see when he was misappropriating by the misappropriating the bank's money he was arrested and he begs mr badwin to say three words at the time of his trial i don't remember and and also as a reward he offers him 100000 dollars it is really a large amount of money to mr badwin because he is a simple man his salary is not enough to support his family at this offer we see how his virtuous family members change their opinion because barwin barwin families they were very virtuous they were they they follow the moral discipline everything so by uh, by hearing this offer they change their attitude we see how his virtuous family members change their opinion they change their opinion when they hear about the bribe they persuade robert to tell those three words so when they hear about the bribe and also by the offer they can they continue they are uh, they ask they force robert to tell those three words thus we can see how money changes the people's outlook so thus we can see how money changes the people's outlook so money can change everyone because they are very virtuous family but by hearing this offer even they have changed their attitude it is at this time we can see the moral level of mr barwin but mr barwin is a very honest and diligent person he never changed his attitude we can see this clearly he rejects the offer but he never accept the offer he rejects the offer this makes mr gresham feel ashamed and he is forced to confess his crime why because mr gresham he is a close friend of mr barwin the two 35 years of friendship so he thought mr barwin will accept this offer but he rejects mr barwin rejects the offer so this makes mr gresham he felt very ashamed and he is forced to confess his crime this story ends with a positive note so this story ends with the positive note means this story gives us a positive note we see honesty is rewarded in the end robert barwin's honesty and integrity brings him a job in another bank at last honesty is rewarded and dishonesty will be punished punished so by rob robert barwin's honesty and integrity brings him a job in another bank he is proved again as a decent and dignified man so he is proved again as a decent he was a very decent and dignified man marshal is impressed by baldwin's honesty so marshal he was the president of the third national bank and he was totally impressed by baldwin's honesty and character so the play ends with marshal offering baldwin a job in the third national bank so here the play ends with marshal offering 
Balvin a job in the third national bank. So this is the summary. So again, I will tell you here, the protagonist of this play is Mr. Balvin. So he was the protagonist of this play. Protagonist, what was the protagonist? He was the hero of this play. So he led a simple life with his wife, Martha, his son, John, and daughter, Avi. He was working as the secretary of the National Bank. He is an honest, diligent, and hardworking employee. And he is Mr. Gresham, was the president of the Third National Bank. He was a corrupted person. His attitude towards money was really selfish. John Gresham and Balvin had been thick friends for over 35 years. So Balvin had even named his son after Gresham. So here Gresham had been arrested for misappropriation of money at the bank and Balvin has to testify against him. Gresham had offered Barbin a hundred thousand dollars if he would utter the words I don't remember in the court during the trial. The family members who were initially against Gresham tried to justify Gresham's act and entice Barbin into accepting the money. But Balvin felt disgusted with himself and the attitude of his family members. Though Barbin was a good friend to Gresham, he had rejected Gresham's offer. He was not ready to re make any kind of compromise with his family morality. Mr. Marshall, the president of the Third National Bank, visited him and informed him that Gresham had confessed his crime. It may free him from betraying his trusted friend and testifying painfully against him. Mr. Marshall also offered him a job in his bank to reward him for his honesty and integrity. So this is the story students hope you would, have, you would have all understood. Okay, what is the moral of the story? The honesty get rewarded and dishonesty get punished. So students, I would like to ask you some question. For example, there is a problem. No? A friend in need is a friend indeed. Does this hold good in all situations? Yes, yes, I'll explain. A friend in need is a friend indeed. It is a meaningful problem. But what is the meaning of in need? It must be a genuine need. It should be socially and legally acceptable. So in this story, Gresham has committed a crime. He wants his friend Barbing to save him. This is not acceptable. Barbing refuses Gresham's offer of a hundred thousand dollars. He wants to be a true to his conscience. It is more important than friendship. Therefore, the proverb, a friend in need is a friend indeed, cannot be true under all circumstances. The students, we should be also like that. If, if we do, if we commit any mistake, we should not get back from that. So we should be honesty. The honesty get rewarded and dishonesty get punished. Now we can discuss about the glossary. What is the glossary? Wrecking. What's the wrecking? Ru ruining, destroying. Here means bank corruption. So here wrecking means bank corruption because Mr. Gresham is working in a bank and here is was bankrupt. Ruining, destroying. Indeed, accuse or charge someone for a crime and put on trial. Indeed, Accuse or charge someone for a crime and put on trial. Testify. What's my testify? Give evidence as a witness in court. In Tamil, we can say Sarchi. 
testify give evidence as a witness in court governor the way john addresses his father governor means the way john addresses his father go on the stand testify during a trial in the court of law go on the stand testify during a trial in the court of law smash up complete collapse smash up complete collapse indignantly angrily indignantly angrily perjure swear falsely perjure swear falsely haggle argue disagree haggle argue disagree reckon calculated reckon calculated what is my mean by misappropriate it is the important word in the lesson because we are using often this word misappropriate means to take others money dishonestly dishonestly for one's own use misappropriate means to take others money dishonestly for one's own use non plussed confused or puzzled non plussed confused or puzzled baptized named christian baptized named christian of his own accord voluntarily without compulsion of his own accord voluntarily without compulsion technicality a minor detail technicality a minor detail shams people who cheat others shams people who cheat others hypocrites people who put on a false appearance pretenders hypocrites people who put on a false appearance pretenders apprehension fear apprehension fear violently cheerfully violently cheerfully piteously sympathetically piteously sympathetically so these are the glossary in this lesson students you can read the lesson the in lesson they have given like a dialogue so just you read all the dialogues if you read the dialogue surely you will be understood so thank you students so read the paragraph then glossary meanings and read the lesson go through the lesson and write the glossary and paragraph in your notebook thank you students be safe students have a nice day okay.